Hi, Paul Stacy here. I'm in Paris at Le Conservatoire des Arts et Métiers, the Conservatory of Arts and Crafts, where we just finished wrapping up the first ever Open Education Leadership Summit. Uh, beautiful building that we're, uh, we've are we been meeting in. Um, it's, it's just a lovely facility. It's been awesome to kind of talk about the future of education in such a historic and beautiful old building that has long been used for education. Um, the Open Education Leadership Summit brought together leaders from around the world, uh, approximately 200 people from over 55 countries who are leading open education initiatives in various parts of the world. Um, the summit had a number of goals, one of which was to, uh, to look at how to um, integrate all the different forms of open education that are taking place around the world and generate some synergies between them. Um, because this was a, an event for leaders, we're also looking to generate some top-down support for a lot of what is bottom-up activity happening in open education. And this is a bit of a different event. I tried something very different this time um, in terms of structuring an event for a meeting uh, around open education. What we decided to do was to engage people in a different way than just sitting and listening to panel presentations and keynote speakers. And this time what we tried to do was um, engage them in some interactive hands-on activity. So um, I'll post some links to some other videos that are related to something called the roadmap. Um, what I did was I designed a roadmap that allowed people to kind of create um, a description to document the open education initiatives that they themselves are engaged in and then to um, describe those open education initiatives in terms of a variety of, of components such as um, what kind of open education initiative is it? Is it an open educational resource initiative, a MOOC? Does it involve open science, open data, open source software, open source hardware, maybe open access? All of those were part of the proceedings here and parts of the kinds of initiatives that people are undertaking. And then we also, after having people develop their own roadmap for their own initiative, we also had people um, express what they have to share with others, what is it that their initiative is producing that can be reused by others, that's really what open education is all about, and what might they benefit from receiving from others in terms of uh, things that other open education initiatives have to share. And then on day two, we actually put together groups of people who had expressed interest in collaborating around a particular area of interest with others and we formed some collaborative roadmaps where groups of people collectively defined a collaborative roadmap that would combine their various open education initiatives together. It worked out far beyond anything that I'd actually imagined. Uh, people really engaged with the process. It's clear that people are interested in rolling up their sleeves and getting down to work around these open education collaborations. And I was just thrilled with the result. Um, a lot of what happens at these events is, you know, there's sort of uh, hallway conversations where often the most valuable thing that, uh, that, it, that happens at these events takes place on these little side conversations that take place in the hallway. But here at this event, we literally tried to get that to be a central focus of the kind of purpose for being here and to directly engage people in activities that, that would take advantage of such hallway conversations and move them from a hallway conversation to being something that is the central focus of the event.